and a very good day to you and welcome to the program. We want to speak to you today about the power of the spoken word of God. What you say is what you get and we need to really understand that. If we go straight to the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, and I'm just reading one verse, verse 6. But when they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some brethren to the rulers of the city, crying out, these who have turned the world upside down have come here too. What a title to be known by. Whoa, I would love that title. Those who have turned the world upside down have now arrived here as well. I really hope and pray that that's what we're known by. And the opposite, unfortunately, is found in Revelation, the last book of the Bible, chapter 3 and verse 16. And Jesus says, Because you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Folks, Jesus said that, not me. He says, in effect, I would rather you be an unbeliever, he's talking about ice cold, than to be lukewarm. I would rather you be an unbeliever. You are doing more damage to the kingdom of God being lukewarm than if you were just plain cold. Because you're telling people that you love the Lord, but you are not speaking up. You are not taking your stand. We need to speak up. Because if we don't, people will never know about the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you a little story that took place in the Eastern Cape, south of where we stay. It was a farmer's conference. The one, my favorite, the ones I love the most, speaking to my own people, if you don't mind me saying that, fellow farmers. But you know, fellow farmers are straight shooters. <laughs> they call a spade a shovel. Okay, they get down to it. They don't mix their words. And I like that because that's how I am. And I was speaking my heart out and preaching my heart out and telling people that Jesus is the one who turns not only the world upside down, but a man's heart upside down. Changes a man overnight, like Saul of Tarsus becoming Paul the Apostle in an instant on the road in the middle of the day. And when I was uh, finished the first session, I shot off to the bathroom. And when I walked into the bathroom, an old farmer walked in behind me. <laughs> I'll never forget it. And he said, boy. And I said, yes, sir. Because when those guys say that, you stand to attention. Yes, sir. He says, when you preach, you don't have to sweat so much. <laughs> Can you believe it? Hey, word of encouragement. And I looked at him, and I was so pumped up because I just love the Lord. And the more I speak about Jesus, the more I turn everything upside down. I said, sir. You haven't seen anything yet. Wait for the second half. <laughs> anyway, what I want to say to you, if you are ashamed to speak up for Jesus, Jesus says the very stones will shout out my name. We really need to be serious about our stand for Christ. Because there's somebody, maybe living right next door to you, he just wants to hear about Jesus, the healer, Jesus, the provider, Jesus, the soon coming king, not God, but Jesus. He is God in flesh. Speak it up now. God bless you and goodbye.